the two diagonals intersect each other at right angles. Okay, so let's draw the two diagonals. That is the shorter one. That is this db and this and you have to prove that it these two diagonals intersect at right angles right this two intersects at right angles so for that what you have to do is first take the triangle abc the triangle adc and then take the triangle ABC. So ADC and ABC, we can see that AD is equal to AB. This AC is common. AC is equal to AC because it is common. And then CD is equal to CB. So we have the two sides equal, this side is common and we have another pair of equal sides. So from S, S, S criterion, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Now from this congruency of the two triangles, we can find the corresponding vertices. And if we try to find the corresponding vertices, corresponding vertices corresponding vertices then you can see that if you take this triangle ADC and you want to if you want to superimpose it on triangle ABC then the vertex A of this triangle ADC will fall on the vertex A of triangle ABC. This vertex D of triangle ADC will fall on vertex B of triangle ABC. D of triangle ABC. And the vertex C of triangle ADC will fall on vertex C of triangle ABC. So these are the corresponding vertices. From this, we can say that angle DAC of, let me put it here. From this, we can say that this vertex A of ADC, it means that angle DAC, angle DAC is equal to, is equal to, triangle CAB of triangle ABC, right? And from this one, we can say that, that D and B are corresponding vertices. So we can say that angle ADC, angle ADC of triangle ADC is equal to angle ABC of triangle ABC. And from this C of, vert C of triangle ADC is a corresponding vertex to uh, C of triangle ABC and C of triangle ABC, these are corresponding vertices. So we can say that angle DCA is equal to angle BCA. So from this one, if you look at this one, that is angle DAC of triangle ABC, that is this one is equal to angle CAB of triangle ABC. That is this one. These are equal. Now, if we suppose that the point of intersection of the two diagonals is let's say L. Let's take it L. Okay, let's take it L. So now, focus on these two triangles, triangle ADL and triangle ABL. So now focus on triangle on triangle ADL or ALD, let's call it ALD and triangle ALB. 
From these two triangles, you can see that this AD is equal to AB. AD is equal to AB. This angle that was DAC. So can we call it angle DAL because L is on the way only? It lies between A and C, right? So angle from here, we can say that angle DAL is equal to angle CAB means what? We can call it LAB or BAL, anything. It is the same thing. So if it is DAL, these two angles are equal. So rather than calling it LAB, we are calling it angle BAL. So this is angle BAL. These two angles are equal. And then this side AL is common. So AL is equal to AL. So we have two sides equal. We have two angles equal. And we have again two sides equal. From SAS criterion, we can say that these two triangles are these two triangles are congruent. Congruent. Now, since we have established that these two triangles are congruent, let's talk about the corresponding vertices. So clearly, if you look at this angle DAL and angle BAL, since these two are equal, and if you try to superimpose this triangle DAL over triangle BAL, then clearly A of triangle ALD, the vertex A of triangle ALD will fall on vertex A of triangle ALB, right? Then this vertex D of ALB, ALD sorry, the vertex D of ALD will fall on vertex B of triangle ALB and this vertex L of triangle ALD will fall on vertex L of triangle AB, ALB. These are the three corresponding vertices of these two triangles because the correspondence of vertices is very important. Now here you can see that the vertex L of triangle ALD will fall on vertex L of triangle ALB. These are the two corresponding vertices. Okay, so can you imagine that you're holding this triangle ALD in your hand and you're trying to superimpose it on this triangle ALB. So from here we can say that, from here we can say that angle ALD is equal to angle ALB. Why? Because these are corresponding vertices. ALB. Okay, the, these are the concepts of similar triangle, uh, congruent triangles. So ALD is equal to ALB. Now tell me, if you look at this whole angle, isn't it forming a linear pair? This whole angle is a linear pair and therefore since it's a linear pair, we can say that angle ALD, ALD plus angle ALB is forming a linear pair and therefore the sum of these two angles will be equal to is equal to 180 degrees. So since both these two angles are equal, let's say that this is actually equal to x. Let's say that these two are actually equal to x. Angle ALD is equal to ALB is equal to x. Let's call them x. So this is x plus x is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore from here we can say that 2x is equal to 180 degrees and from this one we get x is equal to 90 degrees. That is angle ALD is equal to angle ALB is equal to X that is equal to 90 degrees. So we can see that each angle is at 90 degrees. So this angle is at 90 degree and this angle is also at 90 degree. We have proved that. So if these two angles are at 90 degree, we can say that this one will also be 90 degree because even this is a linear pair right? This is also a linear pair. So since this is a linear pair and this angle is 90 degree, therefore this angle will also be 90 degree and same thing here. So 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, the two diagonals intersect each other at right angles.